In this video, we will learn about subtotal function in Excel. You might think it to be somewhat like sum of selected values. But the subtotal function is capable of much more. Apart from its ability to return a sum, it can also give us average, count, max and several other results. But today, we will specifically focus on standard deviation of sample and understand this function with few examples in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. The subtotal function itself has 11 functions within it. This function always ignores values removed by auto filter. What we see here is that there are two sets of the same function numbers available. But one set includes hidden cell values while the other set excludes hidden cell values. We will learn more about this in a while. There are two standard deviation formulas in Excel. One with dot p which calculates standard deviation for population and other with dot s for sample. So in this video we will see standard deviation of sample. So to keep it simple, in this video when I say standard deviation, I will be referring it to standard deviation of sample. Let us start with standard deviation within the subtotal function. So our function goes like equal to subtotal open parenthesis 7 which stands for standard deviation comma our amount range which is B2 till B15. We will just freeze this range. So when we copy this cell, our range doesn't get disturbed. Close parenthesis and we got the standard deviation from our amounts. Now the question is how subtotal standard deviation function is different from regular standard deviation function. To understand this, let us get standard deviation for the same range with regular function here. Equal to htdev.s open parenthesis b2 till b15 close parenthesis and our result is same with both the functions. Now let us apply filter on our amount range and get only the rows which has amount greater than 6000. As we can see that standard deviation we got with subtotal function changed when we filtered our range. And now this function is giving us standard deviation of the remaining cells in the range whereas the regular standard deviation function has not changed. There is no effect on this function whether the range is filtered or not. So this is the basic difference between the regular and subtotal standard deviation function. In the subtotal function itself, there are two standard deviation functions, one with code 7 and another with code 107. We have already seen the standard deviation function with code 7. Now let us see how this function is different from the other. Let us first use this function on the same range. We will just copy paste our formula and change the code from 7 to 107. And our result is same. Now let us remove the filter from our range. We can see that the result of both the standard deviation with code 7 and code 107 are still same. Now let us hide few rows from the range. And now we can see that there is mismatch in the result. What happens here is that standard deviation function with code 7 includes the hidden rows whereas the function with code 107 excludes them when calculating the standard deviation. Now before we conclude the video, let us sum up what we saw right now in nutshell. Regular standard deviation function calculates the standard deviation from the given range of cells irrespective of whether the range has hidden cells or the range is filtered. But the standard deviation function in subtotal calculates the standard deviation from the given range of cells and both changes dynamically when the range is filtered. But when the range is not filtered, both these functions behave differently if the range has few hidden rows. The standard deviation function with code 7 includes the hidden rows in calculation but the function with code 107 excludes them. In case if you have any query on this, do write it in the comment box below and I will try to answer them. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now.
and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.